Ruim. Alrighty, there we go. Somebody's unprofessional delivery driver. They just threw the uh, package with the flea medicine in, in the middle of the driveway. Just like laying on the ground there. Look out up though. Stop, look out. Uh, what are you doing? Do you need out all of a sudden? What are you doing? You're getting all the corn. Do you need out? What are you doing? No? So what are you doing? Don't get caught in all the cards! Oh, my headset and everything out, jeez. Okay, take up your mind. Take up your mind, you need out or what? Alrighty. Well, we shall wait for Doggo to come back in and like a start. Alright. I am here. Flea medicine has been procured. Lakota is outside. The stream is starting. Lucky is meowing. Well, I'll give the microphone too, I guess. Hi. Hi. Hey. What's up? Really? Are you sure? Are you sure about that, huh? Really? Yeah. He's just sitting, like, pointed right into the microphone, or he was at least there itching himself. Okay, I am here. I'm here and live, and the flea medicine has been procured off the driveway where it should not have been thrown. Lazy, lazy, lazy people delivery driver. Like, why would you do that? Why would you just throw it there? Oh, thanks for not, like, copy-paste not working. Discord, please! There we go. There we go. I don't know what the proper title for this is, but I just figured why not that. Oh. It's Trails of Creation. Yes, I know that, but I mean, like, other than that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just know there might be. I am calling this Season 2, Episode 11, The Great Forest of Kukubo. Who stole the idea? What the heck? <laughs> Maybe, or part of it, or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty then. Oh, I am here. I don't know if that <clears throat> everyone else is here. Nope, I'm not here. here it's just your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Mishka chopping on her leg. Mishka. Just gotta listen for Coots the Bork to come back in, and then... Should be no other distractions. I haven't heard a thing from Manoff yet. Maybe he's distracted. Maybe that's dinner. Dinrar, maybe. Dinner. Better his microphone isn't working. I am not sure. I have no idea either. Oh, there's a bork. Bork, bork, bork. Bork. Figure out something. I don't even know. Can you hear me? Well, here's the wolf, but we can't see it. What the heck? 
You go on. So you need to get some. You need to go get the pets, actually. Oh, you know, she gets the pets. Now you want the pets, yes. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Doopy doopy doo, waiting on a person, huh? Hoi oi oi oi! Haba da ba 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 ba! I hope they don't throw Zeld in the driveway, that would be very rude. The Zelds? Oh, hey, there he is! Zelda! Oh, Zelda, that's coming in. Since they threw the flea medicine just straight in the driveway instead of like up to the door or in the mailbox, they just tossed it in the driveway. Very rude Amazon driver. I mean, I know Amazon kind of treats their drivers like garbage, but still. That's very rude. Alrighty. We are doing the RP night once. We're about to start in a second, anyways. And I am here, and then we will do a thing. Pets do I have? I have I have my husky, the wolf, I got my cat, an old roommate's cat that was left here, and there are four foster cats. Four foster kitties, special needs kitties. Lucky is one of them. You can't really see his uh problem. He has eye problems. You can't really see it because of the black fur, but he's probably got it the least of the other kid the other special needs kitties, honestly. Uh, like the orange one back there, you can see grooming himself. Uh, I can't really clue him. He's looking over this way. He was born at what's called a swimmer kitten, which is his ribs were malformed, so he would have health problems. He's been pretty healthy, but it, it's when, instead of their rib cage, like, shaped like that, it's flat, like a pancake. They call them swimmer kittens because they can't actually, like, walk. So you have to, like, tie gauze around them and get a brace to put their ribs back together and train them how to walk. The other kitty that you can see back there, the calico, that's my cat. Oh, I can't really play. There she is, right there. Uh, uh, kind of like that. Uh, uh, there, right there. <laughs> but that's it. The adult foster kitties are pretty nice kitties. Uh, they're getting up there in age. Not many people want to take care of adult uh, special needs kitties. Right, Lucky? Yeah. They're good kitties. Yeah, she. My, mine's a calico. Yeah. One of the roommate left behind has also got some allergy issues. Like the other one, the uh, silver kitty you might see, she has eye issues, which are very obvious on her. Um, the other cat is like the black and white tiger like one with long fur. She has severe allergies. She's allergic to like 30 things. <laughs> hey, there he is. Okay, so, uh, welcome back to Trails of Creation, everybody. How's everyone oh. doing? Doing good. Yeah, right. What you doing, Coots? There's a wolf. Ah, I can't. Yeah, I've been taking care of them for years at this point. They're not too bad. It was actually more, I guess, the wolf here would be more of a handful when he was younger. Right now, the husky is usually the bigger pain. The old roommate's cat is actually the biggest pain in the world. She is like the most accident-prone, annoying cat in existence. She somehow manages to hurt herself 
when no other cat has hurt can hurt themselves. Uh, it, it's ridiculous. I do not know what is up with her. That means she... Alrighty, well, I'm ready to go whenever. I'm ready to Anna. He was here a second ago. I can't hear him very well. Weird, I can hear him. And volumes? I had his volume like pretty much maxed out. Yeah, I might have. Mine is maxed out, I can hear him. Weird. Sound stuff, man. It's always a thing. Alrighty. Okay, well, uh, previously on Trails of Creation, uh, well, Bastion had a nightmare, uh, and we went to, uh, try to shoot, <clears throat> went to try to heal Tiana because she was sick, because, uh, Dragomir was draining her because of the Raffle curse. They worked out something, uh, she's all well and good now, which is nice. And then you guys went to uh, go find Rufia's dad, who had flown to Eisenberg Village to try to fight something. And what you found there was uh, was Rufia's dad possessed by some kind of nightmare thing. So you fought him. Uh, we had a big beam of feelings, <laughs> and. Uh, Beam of feelings. <laughs> and, uh, that dispelled the nightmare, and uh, he decided to set up some fortifications around the village so Spalone would get any ideas. And kind of like get Bastion's roots, literal and otherwise, in there too again. <laughs> Saturday. 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 March 12th. Saturday. 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 I don't know the rest of the, rest of the lyrics, but... <laughs> Saturday <laughs> nights are meant... No! <laughs> Saturday <laughs> nights are right for fighting. I think it's... I can't remember. Elton John? into the great forest the Kukupo somehow. Uh, there are a couple of routes you could take to get there. Literal or figuratively? Literal. <laughs> <laughs> or real routes? Or like root routes? Not root routes, but like the routes you drive on or the routes you walk on? You drive on. <laughs> okay. They're not highways, but well, one of them is a highway, but it doesn't go to the forest. You have to go all the highway to get to the forest. Bastion was a little upset, wondering how his idea would, seems to may already be there. What, root highways or something? No, no, the, the Kukubo forest thing. Oh, Although, that, yeah. I guess our character, those things aren't actually there, but apparently they were telling him he was. I don't know if it was to get him riled up to go there or what, but... <laughs> Maybe Crocker just likes messing with people. Maybe. Well, now you have a determined plant monster cat thing determined to take... kick a, a, a Strasbourg's butt out of there. <laughs> there. I turned Discord up overall. Let's see if I can hear Anoth now. Hope so. You can hear. Yep, I can hear you. Okay. Wow. Yay! It's amazing! You guys can both hear me, right? Yeah. I can hear you just fine. Okay. I got my levels set up all the time from OBS. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Fucking All right, so um, whatever. Yeah, so uh, looking up a map of the known world, you could go north through Son through uh Sonnenstein to get there. Uh, which Bastion, you know, that's where Luve lives. Ooh, okay, that's the you kitty friend, right? Yep, that's your kitty friend. You could go west from the Saurus Speedway, or you could go uh, north from Monstriopolis and then west. Hmm. I wonder what the safest route is. It sounds like west... Wasn't west where the research facility was from the... Yes. Yeah, that's probably not a big, good idea to go around there right now. <laughs> uh, that would mean... Which is north and west from Monstropolis, would that go by the research place again, too? Yeah. Oh, so there's really only one relatively uh, safe route, maybe? I suppose so. Is this what Depends we're doing, guys? Seems like a plan to me. I don't know if Lovey is there, if he'll recognize me. Stupid curse. I feel it doesn't, it feels like it has less grip on my phone, but I don't know what that means. I don't know if I, I still get all plant monster when I change forms or not, but whatever. Only one way to find out, right? Mm, yeah. Oh, the most recent thing that's probably out of his mind is the Mew, so try that, I guess. <laughs> you try it, and it works. Hey! You're just a totally normal Mew. Hey, it's, I'm not stuck. Or, well... It feels like the plant monster will reassert itself eventually, but... Oh jeez! You're free so to like a, a time limit sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Darn thing. Well, it seems to work, and this is pretty neat. <laughs> oh, look at you! Yeah. You're a you. Yeah, it just kind of felt like it after I kind of ate Sonya, but uh... <laughs> all right. I don't know how good of it is for traveling, but I'm ready to go whenever you guys are. Yeah, All right. I guess we could. I still think a chocobo form would be great to, for the, the distance. Maybe, Maybe. I'll take that one. Probably would be, uh... If you get tired, Bastion, uh, you can always ride my back. I guess. I mean, well, Muse fit on there, but I don't know if I should stay in this if it feels like the plant monster will walk back out. <laughs> if there's a time limit on things, I don't want to wait, wear it out, but... Uh, I mean, I would have to for the Chocobo anyways. Uh, well, hey, Muse are light, I can ride on you now. <laughs> <laughs> and I can be, keep an eye out with the... the all my weird things. This plant monster stuff is still so weird and kind of creepy. Uh, his shade is kind of awake, but uh, hmm. <laughs> it feels like he went back to sleep. Oh, well. He was. Uh, at least I know he's in there and he's okay. So, yeah, I'm ready to head out. Uh-oh. What? I'm in the red. What? Sorry. Oh, connection? Yeah. How unusual. Like, I don't know why it keeps doing this. Like... I mean, I have YouTube open, and my dad is probably streaming something, but that shouldn't affect upload speed, I would think. No, no, I wouldn't <coughs> imagine so. <coughs> yeah, right, you change well. your di well, wait, I don't think you can change your Discord server anymore. All right, I'm green you, again. You could change your where you send your traffic. Something that used to they used to be able to change servers in Discord. I don't know if it's only for uh, 
channels now or anything. You used to be able to change your like voice servers and all that. I don't know if it's still a thing. I mean, considering they're forcing the stupid name, the uh, name <clears throat> change stuff that's coming up. Okay. Luckily, I've been around Discord for almost since the beginning, so I should not have to worry about that. But still. <laughs> what are we talking Alrighty. about? Alrighty. Discord is forcing name changes. Instead of like your whatever username you have now and numbers, everyone has to have a unique name now. Hmm. So basically, it, if somebody for some reason like takes whatever your account name is, then you can't have it anymore and you have to come up with a new one. Huh. They're changing it for some reason randomly now, which is going to break every single Discord integration through like games and Twitter and everything else. So, uh, the rumor is it's because they're putting Discord on like PlayStation and Sony's demanding it to have access to some things, but it's, mm. I don't know. It's dumb. But hey, again, we're ready to roll out or work out or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> burn up, and burn up. Work out burn sounds up. like uh, I'm about to pull out a guitar or something, and uh, you know. <laughs> But, like, uh, you know, sure. I go eagle and fly. I mean, that they can fly for really long distances, but, uh, yeah. If you want to do I, that, that's on you. Oh, hey, I don't know what this plant monster is going to, like, what it wants when it pushes its way back out if I'm going to shift all the way back to my new normal form. Stupid. Or if it's just going to go plant monster bird, because I don't want to, like... I mean, I have wings, I guess, but that would not be a good thing. <laughs> when have you ever had a normal form, Bastion? <laughs> you seem to go through them pretty fast. I mean, no, normal is in, like, normal base form. I don't... I had one before the world ended, and then the, like, Tig Ryulu and stuff, and the dragon, I guess? I don't know. It's weird. I blame hanging around Adele too much. He always has, like, every time he goes on a new adventure, he has, like, some new gimmick. Must have rubbed off on me. Eh, yeah, I can believe that, honestly. New form each adventure would be kind of crazy. Eh, hmm. ah, whatever. I okay. mean, it's kind of happening already. It almost seems to be, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, hop on. Let's go. Already, hop aboard the bird. Well, not the bird train. That's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that that is weird. All right. Well, uh, <clears throat> it takes you about twenty minutes to. Uh, it takes you about twenty minutes of traveling through the forest to. Um, bleh, to reach the foot, to reach the trail in the mountains that leads to Sonnenstein, you can see one of the. Uh, you can see one of the uh, assassin fraser mines here. I see. What are the mines, huh? Yep. I mean, uh, Assassin Frass is mostly known for its wood, but uh, they do a yeah. bit of mining, too. Uh, use every resource you got. Makes sense, yes. Okay, so... Uh, so, on your way over... Uh, did this get louder? I don't know. What, the theme you were playing? <laughs> yeah. It seems like it got a little louder at one point from the beginning. I don't know if that was... Eh, yeah, alive. It's not like uh, alive. What was I saying? Yeah, so um, uh, Crocker messages Dragomir at some point, uh, saying it sounds like the sounds like the Middenhall mercenaries disbanded like a month ago. Well, that's odd. Guess they didn't do so well. Yeah, apparently they flubbed the mission pretty hard right here in Sassin Frass, and uh, nobody wanted to hire them after that. I hear their leader moved back to Rota Village up in Kukupo. It's 
concerned with me. Well, maybe maybe we'll bump into them. <laughs> bump bump into them. And uh <laughs> All right, well, uh, from there, uh, you just uh, climb up the trail, and it uh, doesn't take much longer to get into Sonnenstein, which is a really tiny village, it turns out. Uh, hmm. Let's see, I need to... Do not drink my water. That water is not for you. It's not for kittens. I need to find my old notes about this place. Uh, that's actually that's probably somewhere else entirely. All right. Well, uh, yeah, this place can't possibly have more than a hundred people living here. Or, or, well, they're mostly Pokemon. What are these doing up here? Yeah. Pretty quaint little place, at least. Yeah, uh, you can see uh, you can see a couple of cats and reptiles sunning themselves over on one of the big flat rocks. Ooh. Hey, I, I suppose can... everyone needs a hometown, even a mercenary leader. Well, the flow base here. I mean, it's a nice, quiet place. The sunning stones are great to have here, though, because, oh, man. I loved those even before, I bet. <laughs> I wonder if he's around. Uh, I don't know if we have time to even check. Are we in a rush to do something? I, I guess not necessarily. Uh, you ask around, and uh, people tell you that uh, Luve and his party should be returning from the dungeon pretty soon. The dungeon, huh? There's a dungeon around here? You see that cave up at the top of town? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm seeing call... a whole bunch of things. I'm still getting used to it. It's weird. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, that's the dungeon. Uh, we send hunters in there, or they come back with stuff. Uh, mostly food and weird stuff but the food is what's important oh well that's pretty cool dungeons can be pretty fun sometimes scary but you get a lot of neat stuff food and huh. weird stuff huh weird stuff yeah what kind of weird stuff eh you know just assorted magical items that do things Sounds like one of Dad's dungeons, almost. Well, the Lucario Dad's dungeons. <laughs> this remark is met with puzzlement. What? The, the, the Hero Academy. My dad's like a teacher there, and he will he'll make dungeons for classes and stuff. Huh. Never heard of anybody making a mystery dungeon. It's the it's the academy world is kind of weird. If you say so. I mean, it's like in an elder space place, so yeah. <laughs> kind of surprised there's a dungeon like that here. I wonder if there used to be. Uh... Hmm. 
It's definitely something good to keep note of. And it's probably a good place to take cover if something bad happened around here, which I would hope nothing bad would ever happen around here. I hope not. Yeah, well, with all the dumb stuff going on. Uh, well, Just hope it gets be... warm again soon. It's already March. Hey, thanks for the follow. Oh, the, uh... Yeah, well, it should be getting warm. Yeah, unless something weird is going on, but, uh... Uh... Yeah, cold is never fun. And then, yeah, can you believe it got so cold the, uh, the... Can you believe it got so cold this week all the trees... Uh, I, it got so cold this week all the trees started losing their leaves and changing colors and stuff. That never happens. Yeah, that's weird. I hope it wasn't tied to the other stuff going on. It just happened at once. Pretty much. All right, well, I hope it's nothing. There's been a lot of weird going on. Not to mention it's, uh, yeah. At least you got the heat rocks. Yes, heat rocks are good. The, I don't know what kind of Pokemon this is, cause, but he stretches and gets back to lying down in the sun. You spot Luve, and, you spot Luve, the Torcat, and a couple other Pokemon that's coming out of the dungeon with a big bag full of stuff. Oh, wow. That's a lot of stuff. And that's somebody I haven't seen for in a while. Jeez. That place has a lot of supplies in it. What yep. uh, does the food look like? Or we guess we don't know because it's in sacks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, one of the other... One of the other Pokemon uh, gives out instructions and they uh, go carrying the sacks to different places. Luve stretches and uh, heads over to the sun to the uh, sunning stones. Hey, look! Time no see. Hmm? Uh. He, yeah, I don't. He looks at you. Yeah, I know I look pretty different, but, uh... Hmm. Trying he, to say hi. He looks at... <laughs> he looks puzzled for a moment, uh, approaches you warily and sniffs at you. I guess, I, yeah, that's right, I'm being plant monster shape right now, I guess. <laughs> no, I should have went mute. Huh? You're a Mew. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I thought, yeah, it's still Mew. Okay. <laughs> um, what? It's you should recognize the tiger stripes at least. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Of course I uh... uh. Yeah. Uh, how you doing, Bastion? Uh, well, I could be a lot better. That's for sure. I mean. New stuff is neat, but dumb Strasbert stuff happens, so. Really dumb Strasbert stuff. I mean, what else is new with Strasbert, I guess? Who's Strasbert? Strasbert, Strasbert stuff. Strasbert! He was. He was my rival before I was a Pokemon. <laughs> oh. He's the, he's the leader of the stupid. Uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> Well, uh, if you don't know what it's called, you can't expect me to know what it's called. Ah, uh, just having a brain fart over the name of his empire. <laughs> Spallone. Spallone! <laughs> He's the leader of Spallone! Oh. 
Well, none of my business. So, uh, how you been besides new stuff and Strasbourg stuff? Well, new is kind of new. It's actually uh, a fast will shift back to normal, I guess. I mean, it's normal now, but... Louie floofs yeah. up immediately. This is the uh, thing I was talking about. The view is just the form I uh, took. <laughs> yeah, wow. Uh, I would not want to get in a fight with that. Yeah! Even give it an edgelord name, it's dumb. Uh, trying, to get, trying to get rid of it, or cure the weird curse thing. If you want to get rid of your name, just come up with a different name. What? No! No, the form! It's a curse thing. It, it, it replaced my... Oh. It, it, replaced, it replaced my normal form, and it's, like, cursed with plant monster, other always hungry stuff. We have a priest here. Like, maybe he could help you with the curse. Maybe? I, I mean, we can ask. <laughs> Uh, the only uh, thing to solve the case of the munchies would be food. Yeah. Well, you're in luck. Uh, we just got uh, we just got a pretty big haul from the dungeon. Yeah, I saw that. That must it must be a heck of a place to have that much loot in it. Well, you know, I've uh, been doing this for four years. Oh wow! I mean, I kind of have too. Just. Not here, just at like school and stuff, <laughs> and uh, going elsewhere and doing uh, other things and yeah, helping uh, save the world and you know normal stuff. <laughs> yeah, it must I be mean, a pretty this... deep dungeon to have four years worth of stuff. Uh, the stuff comes back. Oh. I don't know how. It's a mystery. That's why they call it the mystery dungeon. Probably. No. I don't know. Uh, another follow. Thanks. Where are all these? <laughs> a bunch of follows coming from all of a sudden. Hey. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you for the follow. <sighs> yeah, mystery dungeons are pretty weird. They go in a. I don't know. They're always. They're pretty much always different. They. They usually have a theme of some sort, and they just. Uh... Well, I don't know. It's like the ones that I'm used to. They, you never know what you're gonna find in there. Follow the theme. You could find a bunch of water stuff in a water place, or, well, anything else. Yes, it's lucky. Lucky buddy. The other cats are currently eating. <laughs> yeah, might have to check that place out at some point. But the uh, biggest priority is breaking this stupid curse. <laughs> like, I don't like looking at people and being hungry, you know? <laughs> As this yeah. is one of many kitties. <laughs> yeah, some of the smaller Pokemon make me hungry, but I'm not going to eat them. Yeah. Maybe. But maybe. What? <laughs> I don't like do what I feel like doing. That's the cat way. Well, yeah, I know. I'm a cat too, even right now, partly. As I think, the, the scientist that did the experiment on me, I think she purposely put the Nanaki thing in here because it it, it fits the it, experimental monster thing because, of, well, you know, sheesh. Luve looks like he has no idea what you're talking about. He never was the brightest Pokemon. There's a, a famous, like, the Naki that was, like, an experiment in, like, this big story game series thing. So I'm going to guess that she did that because of that. <laughs> Maybe. I have no idea. Maybe. Uh oh, hus Husky Ding. Oh no! Hus you actually need to go out, Mishka, or are you just doing a drive-by ding? Drive-by ding. She must Drive-by dingus. Let me see if the husky actually needs out. Be right back. Okay. I tried to let you out before we started. Sounds like my cue to update the trimps. Over 
here. What's up? Rusty. Me. Oh. Oh. Sure. Can Chill out back in a second. Here's another kitty. In the meantime. Here's another kitty in the meantime. Oh boy. Another kitty. More kitties. You okay, sweetie? They wake you up. What are we gonna do with all these kitties? All right, so I guess we can ask the priest. Although I don't know, considering this is a pretty strong thing. Yeah, uh, we were going around trying to take back stuff from, well, take back stuff from Strasbourg and do things that I'm kind of required. And I should have done to begin with. And filling in all the uh, empty stuff in the great unknown. What's the what's the great unknown? You mean like the mist stuff that used to be north of the village and isn't now? Yeah, uh, there used to be mist stuff there, huh? Yeah, that sounds like it. And I'm guessing that's where the Kupo forest is, huh? Uh, there is a forest down there, yeah. Huh. Pretty big. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Still wonder how in the world. Ah, well, whatever. That's where we were going to be heading. Mm -hmm. So you just decided to settle down in this place, doing this, huh? Why not? It's got food. <laughs> the, I mean, Isaac is pretty close by. Yep. Isaac is close by. I mean, Tiana is close by. <laughs> And there's the dingus wanting back in. The huskies, man. <laughs> Drive by ding. No zoomies. No zoomies right now. No husky zoomies. I'm streaming. No husky zoomies. Can we give me that huffle feet? Feet. Feep. Feep. <laughs> She's so feep. You're disturbing Lucky. <laughs> she has the zoomies. <laughs> uh, and spinning in her bed for some reason. I so, like it. So what? You've been traveling around and stuff, right? The uh, any sign of Jason yet? I don't think we've run into Jason, have we? No. No. No, I haven't seen Jason anywhere. Eh. I, I mean, I've run into a bunch of, like... I've run into some of our companions and the companions I had before the whole Pokemon thing. I've got uh, a base of operations and stuff, which is kind of weird, but it's great. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I got a base of operations too, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different. But it definitely, we're running into a lot of problems here. I've been away from this world for so long and come back and all the like, wars trying to start and crazy other stuff up north that was going on and yeah. Ah, uh, Monsteropolis is really crazy. I don't remember it being there before. Sheesh. Things really do change, huh? Yep. I mean, you know, I used to just be a house cat. So what do I know? Oh, hey, I mean, I... I've got more cat stuff now. <laughs> Outside of the Mew, I mean, there's the... Uh... I don't know if turning into a Mew counts as more cat. What do you mean? <laughs> They're kind of small. I mean, yeah. Well, fine. How about that? Like, faster, we'll do the... the uh... 
Displacer Tiger Cat Bus there. <laughs> How about that? That's more cat. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of cat. I mean, I just you meant look I like a it. car. Yeah, that's Monsteropolis stuff. Huh. But, uh. Alright, we'll just change back to normal. I guess Mew, because it's probably easier on people around here. <laughs> Mew or Florigato, both are well, pretty Well, yeah, you got, some, you got some people staring after you. Uh, after a cat bus suddenly popped out. <laughs> I know, I was looking for my first partner, but I haven't... I, I hope he's okay, wherever he's at. Uh, but I guess we can talk to the priest. I don't know if they'll be able to do anything, but it'll be good to see a little any extra buff before we head up to the Kupo Forest. I'll tell you what Strasbourg put up there. If you guys are ever in trouble, don't uh, feel free to give me a call. I'll uh, plant some roots around here. Maybe you could poke if there's something comes up. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, hey, there's no... Strasbourg was going to invade the freaking fairy forest. There's no telling what'll happen. I just hope nothing. Really hope nothing. World already ended once, we don't need it to end again. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. I like nope. this place. <laughs> Sweetie, no! <laughs> I don't know if that picked up with the microphone. When I picked her up and hugged her, she farted like... <laughs> I did not hear anything. <laughs> I just heard you laughing. <laughs> Like kitty whoopee cushion. You okay, sweetie? <laughs> My goodness. I'm used to the dogs doing that, not you. <laughs> Alrighty. So then. Uh, well, let's go see the priest. Uh, Dragon, Unless Dragonmere wants to poke in the dungeon for alchemy stuff. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, we might as well see see the priest and see if he has anything, any ideas. All right. Well, uh, you head to the top of the village, and there's a shrine to Amaterasu here. Oh, hey, it's an Abbey shrine. I didn't expect that. Neat. Let's see. Uh, what kind of Pokemon would the priest be? Like a rock? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, weasel? <laughs> <laughs> why a weasel? Well, I know Ace, why a weasel. Because of Ace and Rio and all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Wouldn't the weasel be kind of? Well, I mean, I guess there's got to be some water around the village, but. I mean, well, like a rock probably fits there, or Arcanine, mm -hmm. yeah. There's actually an Arcanine fusion and Infinite Fusion that makes an, an Arcan Ami. Nice. So. <laughs> All right. Uh. Yeah. I guess he's an Arcanine. Hey. It's been a while since I seen an Arcanine. They were all over back home. Hot cat butt. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, travelers. Hey. He's a uh, he just bounces right up to you and wags his tail. Jeez, Arcanine is so much bigger when you're a Mew. Then again, I'm probably a big Mew. But even still, hey! It's nice to meet you. Unless we met before, it's hard to tell sometimes with the lost memories and stuff from the world ending and all that, but, uh, yeah! Well, uh, whether we have or haven't, nice to meet you! Yep. Nice to meet ya. It's uh, kind of funny that's something I don't actually have. <laughs> and he starts sniffing at the birds. Yeah, it's Arcanine is something I would have expected to have picked up at some point. I don't think Sony put it in here, but um... Oh yeah, those are those are my friends. That's Rufio, and that is Dragomir. Hi. 
I'm not normally a bird. Oh, did you go into the dungeon already and get turned into something weird? Well, I did get turned into something weird, but I did not go into the dungeon. <laughs> oh, the dungeon does that sometimes? Uh, sometimes. That's one of the things I usually end up having to fix. Oh. Well, we did come to ask about seeing a opinion on fixing something that happened, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, this. I get to turn back to normal again. <laughs> Whoa, uh... Yeah! I mean, it, I guess it looks cool, but it, it's kind of scary for people, and this is not what I'm supposed to be. <laughs> uh, kind of stuck in a curse thing and replaced normal form kind of thing. I guess. Hmm. He does some more sniffing around, uh, just kind of pacing all around you and Dragomir and Rufio. Uh, I'm not cursed, actually. He steps away. Yeah, and Rufio's fine. Dragomir has similar uh, curse, although it's different. I look like this. Transform. Huh. Okay, well, uh... Let's try and do the thing. Uh, he's... He, uh... He dips his, he dips his tail in some ink and uh, doodles on a sheet of paper. Uh, asks you to put your... Uh, ask you to put your front paws on it. Alrighty. Uh, which ones? All of them or just two of them? Uh. I mean, better safe than sorry. All of them then? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well... What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Don't say anything like that. <laughs> say good night. All right. Uh, then he uh, then he offers a prayer to that. Well, he lights some incense, offers a prayer to Amaterasu, and uh, asks her to dispel the curse. And nothing happens. Hmm. Oh man. Huh. Uh. Maybe she didn't hear me. Maybe That's she's... kind of concerning. <laughs> or maybe she's asleep, or, uh... She could be distracted by my cousins, too. I mean, otter kids are, like, really hyperactive and stuff. <laughs> hmm. He just stares at you trying to process what you just said. I mean, you can tell there's a curse, right? Because if it came across there wasn't a curse, that'd be even more concerning. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, that's uh, kind of a doozy of a curse there. Uh... It's, like the, it's like the world itself is trying to keep you like that or something. That's really... I don't know why the world would want to keep me like this. Like a weird yeah. monster thing. I don't know, but um... If the Matarasu can't or doesn't want to help, then uh, you might be out of luck. Could try the Dragon Temple down in Das Bonk. We've been to Dragon uh, Temple. Yeah, I don't know if my, I don't know if uh, Father Ryzen could help with this either. Yeah, I, I guess it was. I think there's something deeper going on here. 
Yeah, I don't get why the world would want to keep me like this. It's weird. I mean, it's been getting we it got a little weaker when I well, once we created the uh highway did some other stuff, but uh yeah, I don't get it. Especially because, like, the th authority is supposed to be, well, you know. Ah, <sighs> that is really weird. I guess mom probably would have fixed it if it was something that she could have fixed easily. Or uncle. <laughs> I know Miss Amy wanted somebody helping us. Sheesh. <sighs> I don't get why the world would want to keep me like this. Like, what purpose is there in that? I mean, I'm supposed to protect- I'm supposed to, like, take care of the world and, like, fill in the stuff, but... I'm not gonna pull a Dragon Quest to become frickin' Yggdrasil. <laughs> That is an actual. Uh, that is an actual backstory <laughs> to some of the Dragon Quest. A dragon of light that great light and saved the world by becoming Yggdrasil. <laughs> oh, so it's Ori. Ori. I. You haven't played Will of the Wisps yet, have you? I haven't played the second one, though. No. Yeah, okay. Never mind then. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. Ah, well, at least it seems like finding those places, a place like the Saber to its rock, will help. I'm kind of concerned now, though, because places like that, if there's darkness there, then what's going on with the world? Well, that just means I gotta take, definitely need to focus on taking back the stuff from Strasbourg, filling other things in. Well, thanks for trying to help. It's... Even if it, I don't really like the curse, I can still use the stuff for, to my advantage and save the day and make planty friends and uh, eat only the bad guys. <laughs> Think. Uh... Yeah. Mr. Lion guided me to the Sabertooth Rock, so there has to be other things out there like that. Oh, it's worth a shot seeing if anything can be Well, you could, tr you could try the... the you could try the World Treehouse up north. But... World Treehouse? What? <laughs> That's what they're calling the big castle that uh, they build up in the forest to the north. Oh, like the Kupo place? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we were headed. Right. Okay. What about that mystery dungeon? Do you think anything helpful would be in there? Uh, for a curse that runs that deep, I don't know. But, I mean, for supply, that's a good place. If you know how to fight. <laughs> Which, looking at you guys, I'd say that's uh, definitely a possibility. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we can fight. Um, I mean, if anything, we'd end up in a different form that maybe the... Uh, yeah. I mean, a form change like that, maybe the plant monster won't force its way back out. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Uh, well, you, you could take it as like a break. You... Uh plant stuff in the monster dungeon and then be a mew on the outside or something. What, like eat the dungeon stuff, the dungeon spawns to stuff <clears throat> up on ether so I have a longer mew battery or something? <laughs> no, I was just thinking that the longer you are out of the nor 
normal form, the more likely you are going to be forced back for a little bit. So maybe if you, you take a break, right? Maybe. It's, you know, stocking up on ether might help, but it's up to you if you want to go in there. I kind of want to head out myself, but we can we can go through there. I mean, find some supplies and stuff and bring back to the headquarters. <laughs> Item world dive. Nah, I was just just uh, bringing up the idea. It's fine. Well, it's... We can head off. It's up to you. I'd be willing to go through it. I've been through a bunch of them. Been through for class and for fun. And getting a bunch of smithing supplies, too. I just hope it's not going to be really trippy in there with all this weird vision. Oh, hello, Sylvie. All right, well, uh, sounds like you guys are going to go check out the dungeon. I guess. So, uh... Don't need to spend a lot of time in there, but just be something <laughs> for now. All right, Mom, well... Uh, dungeon spawn to get some ether stored up just in case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. Well, uh, most, of, most of the chaos creatures inside the dungeon uh, also take the form of Pokemon. All righty. Uh, you're able to gather up some meat, various uh, ingredients or potions. Uh, let's see. Nom some berries to grow some later. Ooh. That slime. I don't eat igu. You find. Almost one that TMs are good. <laughs> <laughs> ow, 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 my shoulder. Okay, never mind that. Ow. Tra trademarks, TMs. Technical machines. Oh. Uh, orbs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see here. Watch out for traps, of course. <laughs> yes. Uh... So much purry kitty. It's good practice to try to get used to these forms and like the remote plant attack mm -hmm. stuff and You find it you find a TM for bide. For bide, huh? Yep. Well that sure is a TM. <laughs> uh bide. Yeah, it means you, you take a bunch of damage and then unleash it back for more. I mean, that sounds pretty useful, kind of. Maybe? We don't have a meat shield tank. <laughs> uh, we have you. I'm not a meat shield tank. You still, you still have more HP than uh, you still have more HP than me or uh, or Dragonair, or even still using those rules. I think those are gone. I don't know. I'll shoot. <laughs> the Dragonair is a big old turtle, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What if, like, if he could use Bai to just, like, duck inside his shell and tank damage and then, like, let out big alchemy explosion. <laughs> Rufio uh, holds out his wing and offers Dragomir the TM. Okay. Alrighty, then. Uh, let me take a look at this thing. Part of the Mew stuff it makes me want to, like take in all the TMs almost, but I think that's just a Mew thing. <laughs> or maybe that was because I got it. Too bad. Sunday. I already offered it to Dragomir. No, I'm not going to take it. I can't really use by That's why I suggested the thing with Dragomir. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, uh, 
Yeah, these TMs uh, just magically impart... Uh, they magically impart techniques. Uh, in this case, uh, Dragomir, you are able to take the technique Suck It Up at the... Uh, well, at the learned level. Oh boy. Yep. This is a universal defense technique. Focus and absorb a blow, readying yourself to act immediately after. For each attack that inflicts fatigue, conditions, or balance shifts on you this exchange, choose one additional technique next exchange, even if you roll a miss on a stance move. Hey, let's I'll, this uh... I will paste that in the uh, chat so you can add it to your character sheet. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Hooray. So yeah, you have an idea how uh, how such a technique like might work, but you gotta put it into practice and get used to using it. All right, so uh, let's see, what time is it now? Uh, yeah, it's two p.m. Maybe. Uh, Okay. Basta just nom some berries he finds and if they mm -hmm. find any and nom some of the dungeon monster thing attackers for ether. <laughs> Charge the batteries. Save Charge. the hunger. <laughs> Watch out for traps. All this tander dungeon stuff. Man, I was hoping to find some really cool loot in here, but eh. They're getting supplies. <laughs> and I guess Growing this is what ha well. this is what happens when I hurt myself trying to reach for the random tables. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Got a shoulder cramp trying to reach for my dungeon master's guide. Oh no! All right, well, uh, it's probably about time to get going. Alrighty. We didn't find too much in here, but uh, it's fine. Hmm. I got a lot of food, I think, maybe. And I'll be able to grow stuff later for, if I get extra ether for growing things or hmm. ingredients. Yeah, now you're you're covered the next time you feel like eating everyone. <laughs> Hopefully. Alright, it's probably about time I change the music. I've been listening to this for an hour and a half. Which it's a good song, but um yeah. Whoops! Alrighty. What? <laughs> um, I thought I was typing in the search box, but apparently I wasn't. Oh no! <laughs> I guess we'll get the kitty back. Again. You're lucky you're blurry for some reason. Use my hand to refocus the kitty. <laughs> is the kitty focused? The kitty is focused. Here we go. All right, so, uh, So you climb the mountain uh, down to the forest. It's a um... hmm. Actually... 
Actually, knowing what I know about this forest, I wonder if the trees here are green or not. If they're green or not? That's it's winter! Oh! The only reason the trees in Sassenfrass are green is because Tiana lives there. I see. Also, why the uh, the summing stones of Sonnenstein are more important than ever, because kitties want to stay warm. Of course, not Bastion of totally understands that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cold times ain't good for plants. <laughs> mm -hmm. Unless they're like evergreens, because then they're fine. Mm. You know what? Sure. Um... You know what? Sure, yeah. This is an evergreen forest. And you know what that means? It means uh, there are pine needles and not a lot of underbrush. Woohoo! Well, if, it, so, uh, if yeah, the cold don't... starts getting the plant monster, I guess taking, a, taking in some stuff from the evergreens might help. <laughs> But then again, if it's designed to be scary, I don't know if it's worried, worried about cold. You probably don't need to worry too much about the cold. You got some pretty uh, fluffy fur. Yeah. Pine needles, a, a truly devastating weapon. <laughs> I mean, uh, Lexi's in that spot. If you wanted, I mean, uh, Dragomir, if you wanted to make oh, any of your potions pie. sticky, you could try making some pine tar. You got some. I mean, that's not not, not, not half a bad idea. Lexi's belly rubs. Belly rubs for the kitty. Belly rubs and like getting pet in like one <clears> single <throat> spot. It's weird. All right. Yeah, pine so... tar, sure. Could make maple syrup, maybe. If there's maples. Mm. Yeah, yeah, there might be some maple trees. I don't know. Northern forests usually have some around. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell how far north you actually are in the world. <laughs> the world yeah. is mostly kind of undefined, except for... Yeah, whatever places Strasbourg made and didn't tell you about. So, uh, uh, let's see, where would you end up here? Hmm? Right. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Okay, shoot. I, Yeah, I didn't prepare for this possibility at all, actually. For what? You, uh, go to this... <laughs> I was thinking about other things. I thought you'd be closer to the east side of the forest than the south. Oh, okay. You thought we were going to go through the research station? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh. That seemed like the most dangerous place to go through. <laughs> You're going to have to at some point if you want to take it over like you said you would. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> but right now they're kind of like looking for us and all that. Yeah. All right, well, uh, yeah, let's see here. Uh, we are strictly an improv crew tonight, and uh, that means I need to get some water. Alrighty.
mean, if you need us going to the east, you can always just have the road blocked and we have to go. Yeah. There isn't east really a all. there isn't really a road to block. It's uh, all wilderness between here and the next town. Oh, jeez. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, on your way down the mountain, uh, you saw what uh, might have been a town a couple miles to the north. Uh, but when you get down in the forest, it's uh, you know hard to maintain a sense of direction. Mm. Let's see, I need to... Uh... Let's see here. Well, uh, <clears throat> it doesn't take you long to, uh, actually wait. Okay, well, uh, it doesn't take you too long before you uh, stumble upon what looks like some hunting traps made to catch things that are way bigger than you are. Uh, that's a little concerning to find around here. What the heck is around here that they need to hunt that's this big? <laughs> Your Seems question a bit dangerous. <laughs> Your question is answered when a gigantic deer, like fifteen feet tall or more, uh, it comes crashing through the forest and uh, with the the uh, with a raichu on its back. Oh dear. The, uh, the deer uh, stumbles into one of its one of the traps, gets its leg chomped, and the uh, the Raichu just keeps zapping away. And uh, some uh, some Moogles and other rodent creatures are uh, coming not long after uh, with their weapons drawn. Oh, jeez. Uh... That's gonna. That takes a lot of people to take something like that down. Hmm. Okay. They look like they have the. They look like they have the situation under control, though. And uh... that's a really freaking big deer. Why is it so big? Well, it'd be great for dragons, I guess. But what the heck? <laughs> I... Well, the, uh, once the, uh, once the deer is, uh, once the deer is sufficiently fried, uh, the Raichu jumps down and, uh, walks up to you. Uh, hi, that's kind of a random thing to wander into the forest to see, but, uh, is everything that big around here? What the heck? <laughs> He uh he looks over to he looks over to three of you and uh, he rubs his head and uh, he says, "Sorry, thought you uh, were somebody else. You guys are new here." Yeah. yeah. Huh. 
thought we were somebody else? <laughs> uh, Blah. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, the, uh, the, the Duke's, uh, like some, like the, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the officials sent by the Duke look like that sometimes. They look like chocobos and a mew? <laughs> they look like plant monsters. Oh. Hey, I don't oh. look like a plant monster. He does. Wait, I get... Wait did I shift back to plant monster? No, Dragomir I... looks like one. Oh. Did I... Dragomir didn't rebuff that... or re chocobo, I guess? <laughs> Alright. See then? They look like I... plant monsters. Hmm. Yeah, uh, matter of fact, there's uh, kind of been a big push lately to plantify a lot of citizens. Really? The heck? Raichu just Plant shrugs. Plantify a lot of citizens, huh? That's definitely kind of weird. I mean, some people might well, like make it, it, but... It'll make it easier to stay fed. Depends on the type of plant. Because if it's stuff like Raffles, then that's harder to be fed. If it's stuff like Marlboros, then that's extra. Well. <laughs> and then if they're like Venusaurs, you still gotta eat normally. Well, yeah, what he said the plan was perfect. Hmm. You ever heard of anyone getting deplanted before? Not that I can think of. I mean, uh, all all this stuff. Well, unless you mean getting their. <laughs> Unless you mean getting their plant parts plucked off, which is, uh... Well, it was pretty commonplace back when the dragon was in charge. There was a dragon in charge here before? Yep, a uh, big green guy. Named, his name was, uh, Zbombabar. Zbombabar? Yep. But uh, he's dead now. That, uh, that Raffle King guy came in and killed him. Huh. So now we have a duke. A duke. Okay then. How long has this place been around? Uh, you get a couple answers from the hunting party, uh, ranging from a month to like fifty years. Huh. Well, that definitely sounds like a place that it sounds like it's They're possibly all... one of the strides where it made places to take over, which is hmm. then the everybody then everybody is staring at each other and arguing about who's correct. I mean, the world ended before. Memories are all weird stuff is coming back and it's it's weird it okay no, yeah you don't need to argue about everything because it's just super weird sorry these guys are just idiots uh good to see i'm glad to see some yeah moogles or raichu i think the first raichu i've seen since I've been here <laughs> is it... I mean, is it Right you back home, but I haven't seen any in a while, so at least 
Well, oh. there's a, there's more of them where we came from. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we were trying to get to the town, the, uh, like... Mana Village? The tree, uh, oh, oh the, the World Tree House. Uh, that's World Tree House. Way <laughs> that's way further to the north. Uh, oh. Yeah, we're actually... Yeah, we're from Mana Village, which is not too far from here. Hmm. Well, it's definitely a first step, especially because this place doesn't seem to have any trails that we can find. Uh... Not to mention all these giant traps. So all the animals around here are this big, or just a couple of them? Or... Uh, just a couple of them. Those are the guys yeah. really worth hunting. Yeah. I guess that dragon Which, uh... before would have been happy with stuff this big. It's hard to feed a dragon. Uh-huh. Between the... Uh, you mean between the dragon and the duke's taxes, it's kind of hard to grow and keep much of anything around here. Well, the dragon's gone now, huh? Was he a bad guy or a good guy or just there? Hard to say, really. Uh... Hmm. I mean, uh... Yeah. He ate our crops, so uh, he also ate people sometimes. Oh, well. That sounds like a stereotype almost. Sheesh, people gotta stereotype dragons. Oh, well. I know there's some bad ones out there. Mom and Uncle Laurie's kind of like don't like them, but whatever. All right, well, I can, mind if we follow you back to the village so we don't get lost out here and whatever this. So we'll get stepping in a trap. Stepping in traps aren't fun. Hmm. I mean, maybe back at the academy, some of them can be fun, but uh, not giant ones meant for giant. Demons. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get caught in these. Uh, well, we got our we got our deer, so was. Uh... Are you gonna get it back to the village, anyways? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> uh, like this, the the Raichu was uh, Raichu uh, grabs the de grabs the deer by the horns and uh, somehow cartoonishly shoves the whole thing into his pouch. Oh, that's kind of pack radish. Uh, well, I'm half pack rat. Oh. Yeah, hey, we'd really? be we'd be screwed if we didn't have him. We'd have to get like a giant cart or something, or like a cat bus or something. How the the rats are like no 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 cats. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I mean. I'm kind of right here. <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, why do you think the others are keeping their distance? Over a mew? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no big cats. It, hey, I'm a cat. I don't go around hurting like mice and rodents and stuff. But uh, pack rats, huh? Now that's even more suspicious. How in the world would they know about pack rats? <laughs> How would you know about one... pack rats? Oh, this is more like... In... I guess internal thoughts, but how would Strasbourg know about pack rats? Wasn't there only one before? <laughs> Until stuff? <laughs> no. There was more than just the, the store guy? I thought he was the only one until... Justin is Justin is the only one that's important. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was the only one. 
He's Still the only weird. one that's an NPC. Still pretty weird. Like, I don't know how common they are then. I thought that he was the only one at first. Because nope. <laughs> he oh, made a big deal out of it. They're rats, right? So, uh, I think there'd be a lot of them. But that's... <laughs> a little rude? <laughs> hmm... I don't know, just still seems a little suspicious. Well, yeah, the pack rat stuff is always, it's definitely handy stuff. Uh... <laughs> you say that like you, you say that like you're half pack rat. Uh, uh well, I got a pouch. <laughs> so, lots of things have pouches. Can anybody else do this, huh? He points at his belly. Uh... I didn't think so. I'm trying to think of Bastion has that's really big in there. I don't think he has anything that's really big in there at the moment outside the banana. <laughs> well, I mean, he just pulls out the giant golden banana hammer that he made, which is probably, well, the, is probably uh... bigger than he is. <laughs> well, the. Uh, the... I mean, you get a laugh out of the Moogles. Huh. Uh, okay. I mean, I probably need more practice to shove the whole deer in there, maybe, but uh, yeah. No, there was a pack rat I knew back at uh, school, so... <laughs> I just know something about the pack rat stuff. But yeah, let's let's head back to the village and hey, even if I am a cat and I do show up as like a big cat thing at some point, I'm not going to like do anything bad to eat, like rodents. Heck, some of my siblings are Raichu and Pichus and stuff, so <laughs> like my half siblings. Huh. We got a lot of like we got a lot of chews at home. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a promise to behave yourself. Come on, let's go. I mean, do ca do cats have to often come through here causing problems? I'd hope not. No. <laughs> okay, well, the heck. And we intend to keep it that way. Hey, cats are friendly too. Spe uh, sentient kitties are just fine. don't need to get stereotyped. I'm sure people try to stereotype you guys, too, and it's just rude and mean. Eh, got us there. I got a Moogle classmate, and, like, yeah. Kitties wouldn't hurt Moogles. I... Well, uh, yeah, you go north with the hunting party to the, uh, to Mana Village. It's a, uh, hmm. Yeah, see, I didn't bother describing any of these places, actually. Oh. <laughs> you just had them on there in the map? Uh, kind of. All right, well, uh, You float along, I guess, you know. Yeah. Well, okay. I guess what I guess the uh, kind of stuff you see is uh, kind of 
I think. Yeah, kind of Aaron Village like. Like, uh, it's a lot of houses built into the. A lot of houses built into the ground, a couple of wooden buildings scattered about. Uh, there are even some tree houses. Oh. Find a nice looking place. Yeah, uh, you can see uh, you see some of the residents uh, going about their work. A, a lot of Moogles, a uh, smaller number of uh, rat folk. There are Pokemon among them, of course. Kind of surprising to see so many rat folk around here. Didn't hear about that. <laughs> this is where we all live. Hey. Well, I mean, I'm sure some people have. I mean, some people have moved up to the big city already, but uh, yeah, this is our home. These places are always pretty neat. Sometimes have the best adventures around them and all that too. Well, uh, if you don't mind getting in a fight with a, with a giant animal, uh, plenty of adventure to be had around here. Just uh, be a hunter. <laughs> uh, don't think I actually introduced myself. The uh, name's John. Oh, hey, John. Uh. Hi, John. Well... I'm Bastion. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. He tries to uh, he tries to reach up jokingly to shake your paw. <laughs> Depending on how high you're floating. Probably just at around normal height. I don't. <laughs> I think Bastion's view has always been bigger than a normal view. So. Okay. Well, I guess at this point he would just be normal view size because he's a kid, even if it's bigger, huh? Mm -hmm. I guess. So. All right, well, shake the paw thing. I don't know. Well, it's a tiger view. How big? It was. Wait, it was Sonia Anthro or just normal? Uh, she was a tune. Okay, that could be normal. either. <laughs> yeah, normal view. Alrighty. Because this isn't the cyber view. It, it lets the nanites decide from before decide to do that. But <laughs> the cyber view is neat. But hey. <laughs> Um, I guess that also depends right now on if Bastion is white or black at the moment. Well, I guess it doesn't really depend on the size, but just whatever comes out naturally there right now. Hmm. Uh, probably white Mew. Yeah. White Tiger Mew. <laughs> Alrighty, well, yeah, it's just shake the paw. <laughs> Right, you aren't that much bigger than the views, so. Nope. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to go take this deer to the butcher. Alrighty. We got to try to find our way to get up north somehow. Uh, just follow the road. It'll take you there. It's like All right. uh, 30 miles, maybe. Oh geez, that's no quite a way. It's a good thing. Uh, there will be other. <laughs> there will be other villages along the way. Alrighty, is everybody afraid of cats around here? Probably. Even the Moogles? <laughs> hey, a big cat. A big cat is a big cat. Okay. Jeez. Doesn't matter whether you got a pom pom or not. Does everybody have to give big cats such man It's like everywhere I go it's always big cats getting a bad rep. Mr. Lion's really nice and tigers are nice. Well most of them. Like 
course. Uh, not like the big cats are that interested in such small game anyway. <laughs> Rats and mice. That's... I don't think that helps. <laughs> it's, the, it's the smallest cats they, they should be concerned about. Unless there's cats big enough to eat those deer, jeez. <laughs> Maybe there are. Well, I have to grab data from them then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Bass is just going to look around the place for a little bit curiously, just because he's getting a feel for the place. Trying to compare it to things that he thought was thinking of before for a place like this. Hmm. Also, don't why all of a sudden there's a lot of rat rat a lot of rats around here. I didn't hear that before. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. But everybody being afraid of kitties is kind of kind of sad. <laughs> Well, uh, let me tell you, if one of those, uh, one of those giant tigers or whatever, uh, tried to get the jump on us, uh, they'd have some very pointy things to be worried about. There's giant tigers around here? I mean, we're not the only ones that eat the giant deer. Oh, I'm guessing they're not sentient tigers? <laughs> not as far as we can tell. Hmm. Cool. I kind of want to see one. And get some data? And maybe make some friends. Huh. If you make friend, if you make friends with one of those guys, I don't want to hear about it. That sounds, uh... Something. Like... I don't know. I was going to finish that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if we see any. Hmm. Shoot. So it showing up as a mew is probably going to get people on edge everywhere? Or... Shoot, I don't know what else no. I could even... Okay. No, I think it'll see, be fine. See, I, I don't know what else I could show up as that wouldn't get people on edge around here. <laughs> Hold on. Or turn into a Moogle or a Raichu. <laughs> Might win some brownie points. Or heck, maybe a Rue. I don't have the data. Well, I don't really have the data for any of that kind of stuff to do that, but. Uh, <laughs> uh. What, do, what do you mean, data? It's just like the, uh, you know, data on a form kind of thing. <laughs> oh. I thought Mews could just do that. All right. Well, with practice and learning it, yeah. Eh, learn something new every day. I mean, could you imagine if you if, like a, a Mew, a, a Mew that was just born could turn into anything just instantly? That'd be like a nightmare for the parents. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When you put it that way, yeah. Plus, there's the whole awkwardness of the pack rat thing. <laughs> uh, well, if that stuff wants to come out, it's going to be weird. Uh, it's just surprising there's so many rat things around here. So there's like pack rats here too? Uh, yep. Huh. Yeah, I'd introduce you to my dad, but uh... Well, actually, I really ought to take this thing over to the butcher. Alrighty. Well, you can enjoy that. I guess we're gonna have to head out. Hmm. It's important I get to know how this area is like. I think I'll get to understand a lot more. Okay. Oh, Dragon Bear, we can head out. Rufio, we can head out whatever you guys want. 
Sounds like it's going to be a heck of a trip. <laughs> I'll keep an eye yeah, out for the giant go. tigers and animals and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we should maybe get going. Sounds like a thing. Uh, all right. Uh, so yeah, the uh, villages are sp the uh, small villages are spaced like three or four miles apart. Uh, they're smaller than my. They're smaller than Mana Village, definitely. Uh, so... So, Dragomir, uh, what kind of giant animal are we gonna run into on the way? A giant hamster. A giant hamster. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, well, uh... How about this? A, uh... Yeah, a, uh... A big hamster the size of Rufio uh, comes running through uh, with a... Well, with a giant tiger following it. That's a big hamster. That's a big kitty. It's, uh... This place is pretty crazy. It's like World mm -hmm. 4. Yeah. How big is a tiger? <laughs> This sounds like a question for the dice. No, like, like large or larger than large. Or... <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a big tiger. Uh, let's see here. Lucky, you keep moving away from the camera. No, not like that. Okay, well, it's not as huge as the deer was. Like, uh, it's, its shoulders are uh, just above the height of Rufio's head, let's say. So, uh, bigger than Rufio, smaller than Dragomir. Oh, so it's almost like displacer tiger size, almost? or Full-grown displacer tiger? I don't know. Uh, Like, maybe, like, it's the size of a horse. It's the size of a big horse. Oh, so, like, Arcanine size? <laughs> yeah, Arcanine, yeah, Arcanine size tiger. Oh, so that's a little bigger than Displacer tiger, then, or, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's bigger than Displacer tiger. Whoa. Arcanines are big. Yes, big they puppers. are. Whoa, that's even... Bigger than my normal, than this place. I, it's bigger than mom. Hey, who are you kidding so, about? Somehow, the, yeah. Somehow the. Uh... Actually, no, no. It uh, just uh, goes running off to the northwest. Oh, hey! I was gonna try to get the data off of you. Well, I guess it's just interested in the hamster. And. <laughs> 
her fist was gonna try to poke it <laughs> as it went by. Just to get some giant. If you want to put. Yeah, you know what? Sure, uh, you can do that. Poke it to get the giddy giant kitty day day. <laughs> <laughs> giant kitty of doom. Now my displacer tiger form it will be even bigger. <laughs> well, uh -oh. I want it to. <laughs> <laughs> well, not uh, here because they seem scared of these of cats. Right? I don't know if this place is ready for even more giant kitty zoomies. Uh, well, I'm scared of cats, but the only other... I think all my forms would kind of scare them outside of, well... Yeah. I mean, Raichu are pretty neat, but, uh... I don't know. Nothing wrong with Mew. Yeah, Mew works just fine. I mean, you mix the two Raichu together, it's really nice. Hmm. It's just the the pack rat thing if it kind of worry the series is going to try to pull that stuff out again oh well i don't know if it can do that with this stupid curse thing though uh it's kind of weird there's pack rats in here now too that i don't know it is very weird very I, suspicious. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, I uh, sure didn't see any raccoon moogles or anything. Yeah, I haven't seen any of those either. The raccoons and the tanoogles and all that. But where are the moobas? There's still stuff missing from what I th was thinking about here. There's definitely stuff from what I th was thinking about that comes to my mind a lot, but... There's stuff missing, too. As we're trying to steal ideas or something. I just hope it didn't pop up on its own and he took it over after. But if it is one of the places he made just to take over, that means he made the green dragon as a bad guy just to beat him up and take over, which would be kind of... I don't know. Uh, no, Zbombabar definitely existed beforehand. I remember my dad telling me uh, about him at some point. Oh, okay. Hmm. So did this place exist beforehand? Not that I recall. Yeah, because this kind of place is like something I was planning on before quite a bit. I mean, heck, one of my classmates kind of inspired that too. But... <sighs> I don't know. I guess we'll get to the bottom of it when we get to the tree, maybe? Maybe. Well, all we could do is keep going and hope mm. we don't get attacked by giant bear, giant whatever. <laughs> yeah. Giant Martins. So... Those would be cool friends, too. <laughs> All right, well, as you pass through each of the villages in turn, uh, you notice a couple of the residents uh, running inside and closing their doors. Uh, you're not sure whether they're... Well, they're afraid of something. The heck? Or... Uh... Well, either afraid or suspicious of something. Uh, a couple of them give Dragomir the side eye. Uh, Dragomir, maybe you should get in a different form. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, if you want to blend in, like you could try to get your Moogle or Raichu thing or something. Or just go Chocobo still. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I could just, I'll do a... Maybe I'll do one of those, those Charizards, those blue Charizards. Let me shape up. Hmm. 
Okay, Guzard is go. Uh, next village you pass through, uh, it doesn't react anywhere near as strong, nearly as strongly. Uh, they actually seem uh, pretty curious about the visitors. Oh, glad it's not me making them scared. <laughs> Well, hey, just passing through. Man, okay, there's a so... lot of villages out here. So many Moogles. <laughs> Have we run into any Ruse? He mentioned Ruse, but we haven't... I don't know if we've seen uh, there are a yeah, there are a couple of Ruse around. Ah, neat. Although, uh, the Moogles and Rat Folk are more common. At least in this part of the forest. Alrighty. Still pretty neat. Yeah. Ooh, man, it's a long ways to this tree. Both the giant animals are everywhere through this forest. Mm. Eventually, uh, eventually, Laszlo complains that uh, he's tired of walking. All right, well, let's find a place to rest for now. I mean, if one of these towns has to have a place to stay in, maybe. <laughs> yep. Uh, I mean, pretty much all of them do. All right, that's well, good. Probably. Can yeah. stop and rest and get something to eat. Although, as long as there's no like heavily, heavy, ratty temptations around here. <laughs> Sheesh. keeps avoiding it. How about this instead? Can I do this? There we go. Mr. Coots. Mr. Coots. And the light making the thing look extremely dirty, but whatever. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, so there's a spot to rest. Anything of note, or just we just rest it uh, up? Or... Well, the thing of note is that the food is that the uh, food is a little bit on the expensive side. The heck? The food is expensive. More is expensive than taxes. What kind of taxes make food this expensive? I mean, I Dude. don't know if it's too expensive for, this for what we have, but... It's not. It's just uh, more expensive than it would be in a place like Fluce Garden. The heck? Food shouldn't be this expensive. That's crazy. Well, you can blame the, you can blame the Duke for that, although... It's, it's, uh, it's, think we'd have a bit more food after getting rid of the dragon, but nope. Oh, jeez. Yeah, at least people are, uh, you know, at least sunlight is free, right? What does that mean? Well, sunlight's free, yeah, but what's that gotta do with anything? <laughs> well, uh, fish. Just saying, if you took on some plant stuff, maybe you wouldn't need to eat as much. Um, I guess. But 
I don't know if that's exactly the best solution. Huh. The uh, tavern, the yeah, the innkeeper just shrugs. And hey, I like eating, even if it was plant stuff. There, I um, like eating too. I agree. This is kind of dumb. But it's it's not like we can really do anything about it. It's taxes, you know. All right. Well, definitely want to try some of the local stuff. I mean, as long as people can eat, as long as non moguls can eat kupo nuts or uh, whatever the rue fruits are. Oh yeah, I should try to eat. I should eat one of those rue fruits. I can bet I that would be great. Cheesy stuff is always good too. We get that at home. So this is nachos are always really good. Yep, well, uh... All right. Well, uh, he cooks you up a uh, he cooks, yeah, he cooks you up a dish, and uh, it's pretty good. Food. The, uh... Yeah, the, uh... Yeah, you can tell the innkeeper uh, looks kind of uh, guilty about having to charge you so much, but, I mean, dude's gotta have a business here. I mean, I guess... <laughs> And then you get some sleep. Hey, sleep. Oh, yeah. Do we get a new recipe and who is the expert at cooking it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have the mental energy to come up with a new recipe. Oh, I'm just that tired right now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just... I don't know. I feel like I'm drawing a blank here more often than not. Okay. Like, not even to... Not even just today. Like, it just feels like that anytime I'm, uh... doing stuff. Well, it's been fine. Sometimes you just gotta... <laughs> I don't know. Hey, there's plenty of possibilities to do stuff out in this area, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's the rat stuff. There's the rat and bright shoes things going on. There's. You can do stuff with those or stuff going on in one of the villages or. I mean. Moogles. It's. I don't know, there's plenty. These things, I don't know the like anything plot there in gained around here to really add anything to that, but uh, I mean, Bastion's just looking for stuff connected to this area to try to pry it from Strasbourg and stick his own mm -hmm. roots or whatever you call it in there and find out what's going on. And yeah, but that doesn't help, <laughs> that doesn't help when I'm trying to come up with something even remotely coherent. Do we need to free uh, and connect with the rat village and accept the chew <laughs> from family? Do we need to find one of Dragomir's friends or uh, help a local alchemist? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know they're, either. <laughs> they're plant overlords or something. I mean, Lots uh... of uh, Venus flytraps. <laughs> well, there's Malvaros around. If you gotta worry about Bastion throwing extra eyes out after seeing them. <laughs> I mean, well, you I would... Would... I did have I did have something like that, but it was in it was in the eastern city, not the southern one. Well, if we need to, again, just have the, mm. maybe there's a giant animal 
fight going on and we have to go around to the east instead of straight north so we can get over to what you planned <laughs> that far to the east yeah. it's that far to the east yeah uh this forest is huge well okay it if I had to fly for GM wise, I'd say, okay, if there's something blocking the way here, then Bastion could, he's probably been putting roots down in all these various towns and places, whatever you want to call it. I mean, roots is the best thing sort of right now, but uh, just little seeds of influence, but mostly if there's something that's blocking our way to get north, giant animal battle, Power Rangers kaiju style, then maybe we have to go back to base and teleport to the east side or something. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe we just remembered our, our spinch puffs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, something did come to mind, but there's no way that character would be able to get over here that fa as fast as the plot would require. It makes no sense I at mean, all. If you want the most... If you want... I mean, there's definitely silly possibilities going at the... Or, do they, did they set up teleport traps to teleport away the big animals attacking the place? Maybe a teleport <laughs> trap goes off and teleports them, or... Maybe while they're still town. Up, Bastion has another dream related to something and accidentally tele teleports them over there. I don't know. I mean, if this stuff is connected to him in any way somehow through his things, then if there's some trouble over there, maybe it's just calling out to grab them over there, or... I don't know. Or maybe Amy finally notices the voicemail and tries to help us out by teleporting <laughs> us over there. <laughs> chaos stuff. I mean, there's plenty of possible ways to get us over there if you need us over there for the plans and stuff. <laughs> well, the plan I had doesn't even... It... Doesn't even... I don't know. I, I think this episode needed a lot more time in the oven than I gave it. Hmm. I don't know. I mean... <sighs> oh, maybe there's a dungeon around here, something around one of the towns to help out. It's just an ad-lib thing. I mean... 
There's rats in the ruins and... Is there a raging river? Takes you... 50 miles to the east or something? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, like, I don't even feel like coming up with something on the spot tonight. Jeez. I don't know. Uh. Okay. Okay. I mean, so what, you just want to stop for now? Yeah, and... so I'll stop for now and I guess try to think of something for next time. Huh? Well, all right. All right, let's enjoy our luxury food at the inn. <laughs> the rue fruits and whatever else they whatever type of stuff they make yeah hanging around the chews and the moogles mm -hmm. the only thing bastion has is the in from all that stuff is just the chew the pack chew thing <laughs> so yeah i don't know uh, i'll t do some I'll uh, do some writing when I'm feeling a bit more creative okay all right well yeah just you gotta take time take time sorry it's uh, fine yeah no growth questions tonight I don't feel like anything really meaningful happened yet no we kind of just met Lové and we, we Start, I got to eat some berries and roof roots, I guess. So whatever was in the yep. dinner. <laughs> yep. Bastion can grow more things. And they get to sleep in filled with the sounds and smells of moogles and rat, rat, rats and roos and whatever noise roos make. <laughs> mm -hmm. They have bomber, bomber roos are neat. Combine bomber roo with ECU roo and you get all like that <laughs> ultra cool roo. Yeah. If you if you do the right accent, does does uh, a barbecue become babaru or something? <laughs> I have no idea. But uh, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with Draw the Friday night is. Uh, well, I should have Tears of the Kingdom by then, so we're going to get to see some of that, I think. I'll be back Saturday with something. Maybe just farting around in Tears of the Kingdom too. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Good night, Good. everybody. RP, night. RP next week is my night, so we'll be yeah. doing that then. All righty. Well, I guess that's going to be it for me then. I mean... I don't know what I'm going to do. There's nothing else I feel like streaming tonight, so yeah. maybe I'll just play some Against the Storm or do something on my own here. But... I think I'm going to play some Pizza Tower, maybe. Alrighty. Well, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for tuning in. Stay well. Be well. See good you night. next time. Good night, everybody. Bye. That's a good one. Bye. Bye.